Thank you for joining us again on Pray TV as we enter into this wonderful new year. God has been so faithful to us. It has been a very powerful year in 2018. But I know that God is going to do something even greater in this coming year, and you can enter into it as well. We're going to begin by reading from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, and this is from the New King James Version of the Bible. And we're going to lock into the scripture today and ask that God will really reinforce it to our souls and to our hearts and make it very, very special and a very important verse for framing this year. It says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Just think about that for a moment with me. You know, he is in heaven praying for us. He is there with this great cloud of witnesses that it talks about that are really looking over the ramparts of heaven. It's a metaphor, I'm sure, but it is meaning that they are looking and cheering us on. They've gone before us. They are our friends. They are our families. They are people who are having our best in their heart. And they are praying for us, encouraging us. They are cheering us on. We're going to read this one more time, and then we're going to go to praying into these verses of Scripture. But no matter what your year past has been, your year ahead of you is going to be so much better because God is authoring every step that you take says there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. But those of us who set our hearts, our affections, our, our aim on Jesus and on his ways, we are promised a better and a more excellent way. So we're going to read this one more time and just then go to praying into these verses of scripture. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, and this is again King James Version, New King James Version. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame. And he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Father, we just come to you right now and we ask that you, Lord, who are seated at the right hand of your Father in heaven, you have given us these words to encourage our hearts so that we can enter into this partnership with you, with you of interceding and intercession. You, Lord, are the great intercessor. You are praying for all of mankind. You are there next to your Father. You are there pleading our case. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are there praying for us. And you inspire us, Lord, to become intercessors in our own right to pray for our families, to pray for those who you put on our hearts, those that you want us to be able to pray into the kingdom. Father, we know that your spirit must draw each of us into this beautiful place of intimacy with you where we recognize that we are sinners and we recognize that you are our savior and we come before you and we lay those things down and Lord, we know that it is ultimately you that draw us. But you give us this privilege of praying one for another. And so we enter into this new year with this determination, Lord, that we are going to intercede on behalf of our families. 
We're going to pray for those who have gone into all kinds of difficulties, who have, have found their, their lives all knotted up. And Lord, you're wanting to set them free. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And Lord, we just thank you that you're taking us into a, a new realm, a new place, a new identity, a new authority. And Father, we pray that by your Spirit you will go before us in this new year and that you will actually blaze the trail, Lord, of us moving into everything that is new for this year. Lord, we praise you that you are watching over us. We thank you, Lord, that you care for every one of your children. And Lord, you care for each one of us who are praying together today, even around this day. Lord, we love you. We lift our eyes unto the heavens. We love you. We enter into your promises. We love you. You are meeting all of our needs according to your riches in glory. Father, we pray that this year we will make a commitment to walking fully in your will and your way. Bless your people. Anoint your children. Take us into new realms of authority wisdom and grace. Amen and amen. God bless you, saints. Keep moving into him. He has you by the hand. He has your best interest in his heart.